Hello, I am Luxbrush, and welcome to my channel and my quick thoughts on My Little Pony Season 4, Episode 3, Castle Mania. Well, the episode starts out with Twilight looking through her books, still trying to do research on that box we got from the first two episodes. She can't find anything, so she has written a letter to Princess Celestia and continues to look through books while she's waiting for the reply. And once she gets the reply, she finds out that there are more books in a library she didn't know about that's very nearby, which just happens to be in the old castle of the two sisters. So she runs off to there and finds the library and goes, oh my god! best library ever so she and spike stay there and start to read the books we switch over to applejack rainbow dash and pinkie pie where applejack and rainbow dash are doing a new contest against each other to see who is the most daring pony and for the last test which is to be completely covered in bees and have a staring contest which, because the beekeeper needs his bees back, is ended short before they can find out who won, and Pinkie Pie informs them that, since she's been keeping track all day, they are officially tied. And she runs off to ring the school bell, since she volunteered to do it and no one else did. And she apparently loves ringing school bells with her head. This is all fun, Pinkie Pie still being a little overly simplified funny. They're using a lot of sight and physical gas with her without giving her any real lead-up into them. I do like that Rainbow Dash and Applejack are still having contests against each other. So not that they have this contest where they're going to tie, they have to figure out some way to break it. So Applejack comes up with the idea of heading off to the two sisters' castle because of a legend she heard from Granny Smith about a pony of the shadows. And Applejack and Rainbow Dash decide to finish off their contest with a contest to see who can stay in the castle the longest. So now we switch over to Rarity and Fluttershy, who happen to be coming into the forest because Rarity has heard about the fact that there are several ancient tapestries that apparently need to be restored. She can't stand the fact that these tapestries have been there so long being neglected that someone must go and rescue them. And I'm not quite sure why Fluttershy has been dragged along in this. But I'm thinking it's um, because Rarity asked her for help. It does give some comedy relief, though, because, you know, Scaredy Cat in Haunted Castle or Creepy Old Castle kind of works well. So at one point, Angel runs off into the castle, which causes Fluttershy to rush on in, and Rarity falls just after. They find Angel really quickly. They follow him into a room where Rarity meets her first tapestry and kindly asks Fluttershy to try to get it off the wall for her. It's a rather large tapestry, and conveniently enough, it also hides a switch to flip the wall. So we get our first introduction of the fact that this castle happens to have secret passageways littered throughout it, and apparently traps too, when we find out that the floors can open up with a single press of a misplaced hoof, or paw in Angel's case. Rarity and Fluttershy get dropped into where we don't know where because we've cut over to Applejack and Rainbow Dash still exploring the castle where they end up in a room full of, as Rainbow Dash puts it, disembodied hooves. Basically a bunch of hooves holding up torches. And as they walk along into the hallway, we then cut back over to Rarity and Fluttershy who we found out have fallen into a hole. And Rarity lets up her horn. Fluttershy is freaking out because Angel Bunny is not there. Rarity sees a hole in the wall, reaches through it. Then we cut back to Applejack and Rainbow Dash as they're further down this hallway and as Rainbow Dash is near the wall she gets surprised by Rarity's hoof which of course they think is a ghost and they go running off and of course we got a bunch of hijinks I think I'm summarizing a bit too much so I'm just gonna hurry on here we got a bunch of hijinks a bunch of fun more mistaken identities shadows being running around there we have a mysterious pony playing in the background and the organ, which is triggering a bunch of traps and side passages and stuff like that, which of course gets everyone all confused. And Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy all get separated and accidentally bump into each other, which of course causes everyone to think that everyone else is the ghost and they're all freaking out. Fluttershy is um, thinking that Angel Bunny got crushed underneath a um, pillar. And eventually this noise drags Twilight out of reading the diary of the two sisters, which apparently is Celestia's and Luna's diary from the past. And she was finding it quite fun because it was describing all the fun stuff they used to have in the castle back then, before everything went bad at Nightmare Moon. So Twilight sees this mist after hearing about it, stops everyone, and explains to everyone what's going on. And they explain to her that there's this apparently shadow pony that's doing all this. So they eventually follow the organ sounds down to where it's being played, and we find out that the organ's being played by Pinkie Pie. Which is a nice little twist, because for most of the episode, I thought it was Luna. That's kind of flipped there, especially since they didn't really show us much color. She was kind of grayed out, so we're all thinking 
well, at least I was thinking, it's Luna. The coloring says Luna. <laughs> and we're also get introduced to a new um, mechanic in the show at the end here. So instead of friendship letters, we are now putting our thoughts about friendship into a journal so future ponies can read it and learn from all the knowledge that they put in it. So that's a nice thing. So we get stuff like the letter system, except it's now in a journal. Well, to pretty much sum this up, it kind of felt like an old-fashioned cartoon like Scooby-Doo, except without the um, whole mystery of, if it wasn't for you dang kids and your baby dragon. <laughs> I also like the fact that they seem to have upgraded the facial expressions of all the characters. We seem to be getting more emotion and more animation out of their faces. Their eyes change more often. The animators seem to be like really paying attention to how they animate the facial expressions in this season. I've noticed that it's vastly improved, at least in my perception, over past seasons. I seem to notice more little facial tweaks, more little facial expressions, like how eyes react differently, they're more expressive, the lips move more often, the irises contract, and just little things that make the facial expressions that more, much more expressive than in other seasons. Yeah, there's my thoughts on Season 4, Episode 3 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. So here are some quick updates. I'm going to be uploading more videos soon to this channel, I hope, sometime this week. The first will be my first in this series of More Thoughts On, which will be a series of videos where I expand on my thoughts from my Quick Thought videos. My first one will be on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 4, Episode 1, Princess Twilight, and hopefully I will be getting Part 2 up not too long after that. I'm also going to do a quick thought on some of the stuff I've been thinking about Nintendo and what's been going on with them. Thank you for listening and watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. There will be more content soon.